Hello everyone, this is Travis Mollahan. I'm in group one talking about people this week and the person I chose to do my project on is Billy Joel. Quick little biography, he was born May 9th, 1949 in the Bronx. He picked up music very early on. His father was a classically trained pianist and both of his parents encouraged him to pick up piano. He found out he had a knack for it and by 16 he was basically a pro. He was playing in three bands before he even knew how to drive. One day Billy was watching TV and saw the Beatles perform on the Ed Sullivan Show and decided he wanted to pursue music as a profession. He was completely inspired. So he dropped out of high school and moved out to L.A. Early on he released an album that didn't do that well. He, uh, he was playing piano at local bars as a job and from that he gained local popularity and eventually the attention of Columbia Records. He put out Piano Man as a single, which launched his career and allowed him to record several albums under Columbia. So as many people know, Billy Joel is very successful and a legendary musician. So here are a few of his major accomplishments. He's won four Grammys. Uh, in 99, he hit one million in sales. And later that year, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So what were his contributions to technology? Uh, well, 52nd Street, this album was huge, not just musically for him, but for the industry because it was the first commercial CD ever released. On October 1st, 1982, Sony Music Entertainment released this album on a CD in Japan. It was the first to ever do this, and it kind of led the transition to CDs for music selling. Here are some other artists who released albums on CD shortly after that. Uh, the Alpine Symphony uh, album was actually the first album to be produced completely digitally. And we have like the Bee Gees and ABBA also released the uh, albums. And that Brother in Arms album was the first CD to sell one million copies. And then also David Bowie had four of his greatest hits albums transferred over to CDs to be sold. So artists were switching to CDs and it started the big bang of digital audio revolution. More and more artists were releasing albums on CD format as well as producing their music digitally which is kind of the norm for music today. CDs eventually would become the most popular way to purchase music in the next two decades and overall this increased the sale of music and this helped boost the economy of the music industry. Here is my bibliography, and thanks for watching.